Okay, yeah, so here, let's talk about the Lord Miles thing real quick, because that was a crazy plot twist. For anyone that doesn't know, Lord Miles, <laughs> he's, he's back. He's safe. So, I don't think anyone expected this outcome. He rose to prominence through doing, like, dangerous things going to, like, dangerous places. Basically just being, like, super reckless and putting himself in, you know, less than optimal positions. Well, earlier this year, he got captured by the Taliban. And occasionally, there would be tweets on his account like, Man, I actually love it here. I'm not being held captive. It actually is just super fun. Like, we're hanging out. We're, you know, drinking beer together. They give me water. They give me food. It's amazing. And everyone's like, okay, he's probably dead. <laughs> this isn't real. There's no way that's real. And, well, turns out, might have been real. Because he's fine. Thanks for the membership, Dasty. Which is crazy that all of that turned out to be real. Oh yeah, also the Patreon that got started on Twitter. Was it? No, actually, I don't think it was a Patreon. Was it a GoFundMe? I'm, I'm a little foggy on that, but I know what you're referring to. Oh, maybe then, Prod. Uh, just tweet at it again, and I'll float it up to the top again. But I, I really, I, I, I think it should be a simple solution. Oh, that's her That's that's horrible, Raider. You see the director of the new Silent Hill game saying it's not a game with people concerned why it has mobile game free to play transactions. Yikes. And yeah, I think YouTube's eventually going to crack down on that ad blocker they've already tried multiple times. He's also suing Patreon for freezing his funds. Oh, is he? I didn't see that. Is that in this article? Because it wasn't in the one I read earlier. But yeah, here. Oh my god, all of these pop-ups. I finally just decided to turn my ad block off. So I can actually read articles. But it's such a hassle. But yeah, he was saying things like they became best friends, they had picnics and dinners, it, like, he made it sound like summer camp, even though he had gotten basically kidnapped by the Taliban. But he's fine. He posted this today. Everything seems all good. There's more pop-ups than the actual article. Yeah. This is what browsing the internet without an ad block looks like. It's insufferable. Ads out the wazoo. And then sometimes there'll be the uh, autoplay ads that come up down here. Sometimes even up here to push everything down like we saw a moment ago. It's miserable. To browse the internet without an ad block is one of the most tragic things you can do. You see that there was an arrest made in the case of a motorcyclist smashing in the back of a woman's car while her two kids were inside. His bail was set to $2.5 I didn't see that, but that's great news. I know who you're talking about. That was that video. Here. Where there's like a bunch of motorcycles going through and then one guy just like inexplicably stops and like busts out the back window. So this is a terrifying but you're talking about this. Center city to a woman who was driving. A biker jumps on her car, stomps out her back window with her two small children inside on that back seat. The woman didn't back down and confronted the biker who was armed with a gun. Now District Attorney Larry Krasner says his office is working to crack down on those illegal meetups. Action News reporter Corey Davis joins us live from Center. So let me see what, the, what charges they got him on. Let's see. Uh, his name's Cody. They've got him on charge. They've got him with charges possession of an instrument of crime recklessly endangering another person and multiple counts of aggravated assault here he is it doesn't seem worth it uh, I, what, he, what even started this what made him so mad I don't remember now 
The heated dispute was sparked when Heron ran into the driver's side door, who was also with his girlfriend, as roving gang of motorcyclists, bikers, and ATV riders took over the street. Video of the attack. Okay. Well then. Have you seen the Minecraft Patician with over 200k signatures? I don't know what that is, no. Good luck, Brady. I'm wishing you the best of luck with the creation. Godspeed, and thanks for that. Sounds awful, Jay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Medi. I'm wishing you the absolute best. I appreciate the kind words. It's a petition against the mob vote. Oh, we talked about that. Yeah, I mean, good luck. Add, add all of them to the game. Sure. I bypass the ad block detection if I stop the page from loading before it pops up. Good strategy. Yeah, because this is awful. Oh my god. Wow, they went super mainstream. They got a Pizza Hut commercial out of this uh, song? The Hello Christ, I'm About to Sin Again? Jiminy Christmas. Makes sense, Oscar. Yeah. And no, I only just heard about the Inquisitor stuff during stream. It just sounds like an awful situation, but I don't really know much about it aside from what chat told me. And that's not what I'm going to look up on stream because apparently he took his own life on TikTok Live or something. And I do plan on watching the new Castlevania, I just haven't yet. Oh, congrats on the upcoming daughter, Molten. Thanks, Rage. Why did you delete the stream VODs? I deleted one, and it was because of a uh, DMCA on it. From a song that played. Never get notifications for YouTube. This one's my fault. I forgot that YouTube only gives you a certain amount per day. And this one exceeded that, so it's not sending out a notification. That one's on me. But all the other times it doesn't, that's just because YouTube has no actual systems in place for live streaming and letting people know who's live. But this one was my fault. Can't blame YouTube here.